game and lost. We didn't lose. I mean, <laughs> not yet anyway. It doesn't look too good. And a strike in its own one. Great pitch of the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through it. Oh good, you're live now. Oh, you're losing. That'll do it for the White Sox in the third. Score two that half inning. Stepping in, David Ortiz. Break one. Takes a ball and it's one and one. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Strike two. He's hitting back to the dugout. Strike three. The pitcher just flat out outclassed him in that at bat. This is a switch hitter who is better from the left side of the plate. One. Tried to crush it and swung too soon. Oh. Pitch misses. Dirksen hits this one to third. And he's out. The next batter is Trot Nixon. Pitch misses for a ball. Um, my peanuts? No. Lying straight up the middle. Their Kroger brand. Kettle cooked chipotle orange. Cashews. This guy swings a decent bat, but he's probably not going to be like, a good batting touch. I don't know what you would say. Spicy and sa sour? Cut on and sort of. An interesting flavor. I'm not too big on it, but it was sitting here, so. He's going back at the track. You got to be kidding me! That's a home run! I love cola brand cola. Up next, Mike Lowe. We're back in it. He fouled it off to the left. He goes down looking. Here in this late game situation. With three innings played, the Red Sox trail by two. Do up the bottom of the order.
Line drive right to the second baseman. He reaches with a leadoff single. That looks like a base hit from the second and left the back. And here's the delivery. Hits it foul. Back in a minute. That's a ground ball to the third baseman. Runner goes hard into second. That one was all over him, but the second baseman made a terrific turn to get the double play. Next at the plate, Scott Pesednik. The delivery. Oh, and one. They check with the third base umpire. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. After three and a half, the White Sox lead by two. And back. Sheets takes and the count evens at one. Back it, Pepper. Here's the pitch. That's crushed. Oh, oh, oh what a catch. That is a big time catch right there. That was off the wall, what the fuck? Inside. Ball. Two balls in one strike. Ball. Takes a pitch high. Three and two. And he's down on strikes. Parker, he gets ahead of him and never looks back. Sweet strikeout. Stepping in, one for two, Manny Ramirez. A bit outside for a ball, one and oh. Sometimes you try to make a hit or chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Two. two and two. There's a line drive. He's in there with a two out single. Ortiz steps in at the plate. What is the point for, of captions for like concerts or music videos? And the count is 0 and 2. It's hit out towards short. Got him. After four innings, Chicago leads by two. Stepping in, Luis Castillo. Yeah. Cut on and miss. Deaf people of Reddit, what is your opinion of music? First response, it's always an absolute banger when I read upbeat music in the subtitles.
He's got it. The White Sox have someone throwing in their bullpen. The next batter is Brandon Inge. He sends it over towards first. He flips it to the pitcher covering. Around my shot. Get the hell with hitting the Coke sign. We're going to go over it. The bullpen is stirring, so he just wants to come out and give the bullpen some more time. What's he going to tell the pitcher? Throw better pitches? And here comes the hook. They're going to the bullpen. Your attention, please. Harry Franco is about to chain himself to the dugout. You can't get rid of me! <laughs> That's some serious heat. 97 miles an hour on the gun, but it misses for a ball. One ball and no strike. Out of the zone, that's a ball. He swiped four bases. Ball. Three balls, no strikes. Strike one. Three and one, a hitter's pitch. He delivers. Long fly ball, way back, and see you later. From the second that ball comes off the bat, everybody knew it was out of the yard. That was a shot. <laughs> oh no! Up next, Paul Canerco. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. Hit to right field. That takes yeah. care of the side. Going into the bottom of the fifth, Boston trails by four. Break one. Nobody out. Strike two. One out. Dirksen makes his way to the plate. Okay, I'm alive. Hey. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Connected Welcome and walked away. To make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Hello, Mr. Manager slash GM Pizarro. Safe at second. He slides in there with a double. Wait, he didn't catch that? Ooh. Next at the plate, Trot Nixon. Wow. That runner on second is going to be going on anything hit on the ground of the right side. In that situation, the fielders need to get the sure out at first. He delivers. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. 
And the pitch. No swing. Well, that's an interesting YouTube video, Zach. Right back up the middle. There's a double Where? play. Dirt five stuff. Oh. Yeah, they're certainly going, they're going for the uh, everything. What are we gonna put in the game? Um, all of it. That's cool. That'll probably be one of the first PS5 games I buy. Pitch taken for a ball. The catch is made. Kai, this quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. It's a nice play. What a win. He's going back at the track. The wall. Indeed trouble as it bounces up against the wall. He slides in safely with the double. Thank God for that wall. Triangle. It's hit out to center. Four, four, four. They barely got him. That's not a very good throw, but his teammate bails him out. What a nice play to get the out. Next up, Scott Pesednik. What? I was just about to ask how old Johnny Damon is. Runner on first with two outs. Break one. Break two. Ooh. A three pitch strikeout. Going into the bottom of the six. The score is seven to three. How are your playoff chances? The bottom of the order is up next. Not good. <laughs> Not good. Which has been the case for about the entire month of September. Grounded to the right side. He's on with a leadoff single. They are just wearing this guy out. They're going to be thinking about going to pin for soon. Well, the good news is if you lose this game, you don't have to worry about sweeping the Rays. Ground ball to the second baseman. They turn the double play. Kite that double play was smooth as silk, just like they practice it, big boy. The White Sox have two righties working in the bullpen. I can't wait to watch one of the worst teams win this year's uh, World Series. It's gonna be whoever gets hot. Yeah, it's gonna. If a bad team gets hot, Brown ball hit down the I mean, with the 60 game schedule, you can certainly make yourself get in there. Mm -hmm. The score is seven to three. Castillo steps into the box. When's opening day? Like three weeks from now? 24th? 23rd? wonder how many people... Behind in the how many more opt out? He swiped nine bases. It'll depend on what happens. I'm really waiting for the Mike Trout opting out announcement. That's gonna be the moment I think when everybody goes, Oh shit. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. Takes a load. Apparently, Framil Reyes was at a friend's birthday party or something and wasn't wearing a mask, so the Indians told him to stay home. Then it's two and two. But back to pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So That's far, the reality of it. Yeah, got fucking NBA trying to come back, and they're putting the players literally in bubbles. Yeah. So last year the 
three and two. Rangers would have had a wild card, but he goes down uh, 60 games in, and they uh, finished the. Oh, well, they didn't do too bad. 78 and 84. Twenty eighteen the Mariners would have won the West. Yeah, they missed the playoffs entirely. Ball. Taken for a ball. I don't think we'll say anything stupid like the Tigers or the Royals making the playoffs. No. But I think we'll see teams like maybe the White Sox. For the Rays winning or the, the Reds, East. or like yeah, or like the Rays winning the East. Go Indians! The Indians have been like slow to start the last couple of years, so yeah, uh, not not have that happen. Have a in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. You slide the opening two weeks, you're in trouble. That's three strikeouts. Or if you have a player that gets sick and misses the opening two weeks, yeah. And the pitch. That one's hit foul. I don't know. I don't like it. Play. The White Sox. More players keep opting out. The more I'm just kind of like, yeah, let's just maybe not do this. I wouldn't play as a player. You just devalue yourself. No, like someone like Ryan Zimmerman, I mean, what the hell's the point? You've been in this league so long. Honestly, taking a season off may be good for him because he's had some injury issues. And it's like, from what he would end up getting paid, it was like if he would have signed a, a minor league contract. Yeah. It's just not, it's not worth his time. It's a full count. That was a purpose pitch. A change up off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. That'll do it for the White Sox in the seven. All right, everybody, up on their feet. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Yeah, I could use a bit of a break. The next batter is Johnny Damon. Pitch just off the plate, one and oh. Break one. Okay, this guy loves to open up and rip the ball in the inner half. Picks low. Sounds like the entire preseason is going to be canceled. Another news hot water is hot. And he's down on strikes. Well, you talk about making a good pitch right there. He was really backed up against the wall. And then he digs deep, makes great pitches, and gets the strikeout. He's batting 300 with 26 long balls and 74 runs batted in. I just opted out of some raisins on my trail. And it's gone. I think I just opted out of hearing. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, that's a... That's gone. Does it matter? That's way gone. Apparently the NFL is holding a percentage of the player's income in escrow for teams that don't make enough money or something. Don't know how that works or what that's about. It's an emergency plan for teams. Like if the revenue for the season isn't there. I mean the TV deals are going to be there. How much do they really depend on ticket sales? I mean the TV will be one of the affected things though. Why people are still going to watch. 
more people might watch. The one. Right. They don't know that. But yeah, yeah, ticket sales actually do matter a ton. They appeal to the first base up. With two innings left, right, but it's not like seven to four. live and die like it is in baseball. Triples are the most rare There's so few games. Bringing in a righty to face the right Assuming they're even our games. It's still pretty big, though. Like, you're, yeah. it's like over a hundred. Each team's probably over a hundred million dollars in ticket sales each season. Yeah. So if you lose a hundred million dollars, that's a pretty big loss. Speaking of million dollars, the Browns and Olivier Vernon negotiated their contract. Previously due 15 and a quarter non guarantee gets 11 guaranteed through a 7 million signing bonus, 3.75 base salary, 250,000 workout bonus, plus 2 million more available via incentives. I think that frees up cap space then. People were saying that, oh, that means we're going to go get Jadavian Clowney now. I'm like, no. If we were going to go get Jadavian Clowney, we would have cut Olivier for And just completely paid him nothing. Because since we got him in a trade, all we had to do was cut him and it wouldn't have hurt us. I can't believe clowney has been in the league as long as he has. I can't believe nobody signed him. I can. He wants too much money. Apparently we offered him 19 million for however many years he wanted. But He's just injury prone. Every It seems like every year he misses a game or two. Yeah. And he didn't want to play in Cleveland, which is their assessment. But now the consensus is the money we're taking by keeping Vernon reworking his contract and saving money, we're going to take that and give it to Miles Garrett. Which would be a good move, I think. Going into the bottom of the eighth, the score is 7-4. to four. The White Sox go to the bullpen. They're going to the pen. Pitch is taken to the left side. They got him! Well, not the best throw I've ever seen, partner, but they were able to record the out. Stepping in one for the like how everybody's hyped up now about what uh, the Holmes contract is going to do to the quarterback market. Well, we'll find out when we see what kind of contract Dak gets. It's going to be like the Dalton line. That's what Andy Dalton was for years. He was, that, he was that average benchmark for what a quarterback should get paid. It's going to ruin the market. Dak Prescott does not... No, he's not worth any of that. I just gonna, it's just it's even worse, exaggerated worse the... now, but... In like five years, the cap will be so much larger, it won't even matter. Yeah. He swiped six bases. Puts it away for the out. It'll be interesting to see if the cap increases for 2021 and 2022. Probably not. It's going it to probably be, be much. It's going to be probably a couple of those years where it doesn't increase. I, I know probably at it's least 2021 it won't increase. Browns have $41 million in cap space right now. Yes, they should be one of the highest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't we spending it? Have they signed all their rookies? No, I don't think so. We just signed our first round pick today. 
I don't think any of our rookies are signed either. Not yet. It kind of makes sense for us not to go and blow all that money yet, though, because if things go the way we'd like them to go, we're going to have a whole lot of uh, money that's going to go out to new contracts. Miles Garrett's going to want a huge contract. Enzo Ward's going to want a huge contract. Baker's going to want a huge contract. Stubbs is going to want a huge contract. How many guys do they have on their roster right now? And now it's a full count. Uh, Are they at the 90? Not sure. Yeah. Over, the, over the cap is a pretty good. That's one of my ones that I like to use. Yeah, it's my one right now. Yeah, we got 90 players right now. <clears throat> that top 51 cutoff confuses a lot of people in the preseason. What does that mean? Only the top 51 contracts count towards the salary cap. During the preseason? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense, because then they cut down and put guys in the practice squad and stuff. Yep. Practice squad guys don't count, right? Uh, no. Because they, no. One, two, three, and the inning is over. Going into the bottom of the ninth, the Red Sox trail by three. He's done for the day. They're going to the bullpen. I'm not really sure. I think the, I think... In essence, part of the top 51 carries over into the regular season, but I'm not sure. You'd have to look that one up. I just know that for preseason or whatever, none of anything below the 51 top 51 contracts on the team doesn't count towards the cap. Yeah. Nobody out. Hey, we have 358 thousand nine hundred twenty-eight dollars in dead money for Antonio Callaway. Here's the one two. Nah, we have eight million from Eric Berry because he refuses to retire. He's still on the roster? No, he got cut in 2018, 2019, but it's his dead money. What does that mean if he retires then? All that money would have been accelerated when he the year that he retired, and then we'd have cap this year. Oh. But because he got cut and he didn't retire, it's all it's spread out through the remaining years. Yeah, that was... It, it, the way that not he good. left Kansas City, dude, is, is not good. It's pretty ugly, actually. He essentially refused to have surgery to get his heel fixed so he could play again. To the point that they had to cut him. Congratulations, you just partially ruined your legacy here. And ruined your leg. <laughs> I mean, when you're getting burned by tight ends... He was he was so broken, dude. He was in 2018. He was so broken. Like I don't even know why he played. The only players that should be the only defensive players should be getting burned by tight ends are defensive linemen and maybe a middle linebacker. Like each game he came back and played more than half of the snaps, they lost. It was it was weird, and the defense actually looked worse when he was on the field. One of those things that defense was bad. Yeah, it was like in 2018, watching him play, I was like, okay, he's done. There's no way. It's time to go. Just eat eat the contract and move on. Which I'm so glad they did because the Honey Badger was such a huge impact on defense last season. Yes. He goes down swinging. Alex Smith retired yet? Or is he... I don't think so. Oh god. I think he's determined to play again. I think he wants to at least play. He'll come out there during a preseason game next year on crutches, take an honorary snap, and then retire. I, yeah, I can't fault him. Someone's, someone will probably... I mean, like, if the Redskins moved on, someone would probably sign him. Oh yeah. Garcia is the winner. Arroyo is the loser. The final score, Chicago 7. It was just, I can't believe, it was crazy that when we traded him, they signed him to a extension that was like $94 million. It's kind of Quarterbacks. Like, it's like, what?
Which, you know, if they ended up they ended up winning and making the playoffs it would have been worth it but unfortunately his leg got snapped yes into tiny pieces the season is officially over we are yay to games to go. Well, he also come back hopefully you don't get fired oh, oh he, he's getting fired he would have made the playoffs still gotten fired Good news, Zach knows how to prevent that. Yes. Hope so. Ooh, my dinner is ready. One moment. <laughs> 